This is a wireless charging solution for light electric vehicles. With this, charging your e-bike is as simple as parking it. The bike is inductively charged by the tile via the kickstand. Designed primarily with applications such as e-bike rental fleets in mind, the Tyler system consists of two parts, a weatherproof in pavement charging tile that's connected to the local electric car grid, and a special two-legged kickstand that's installed on the bicycle and hardwired to its battery. When a user parks their e-bike, they place the kickstand's two feet on two circles on the tile. Inductive charging coils beneath those circles automatically relay an electrical current up through the kickstand and into the battery. Next incredible invention is Wheelbot. Wheelbot is a sphere that can move freely anywhere. The tire is the essence of the future mobility, imaging future mobility beyond the tires. It is aimed to propose and realize not only the mobility which will innovate the future, but also urban infrastructure which will stably and effectively implement the mobility system. A Wheelbot is literally a mobility system using robotics, whereas the existing wheel-type moving unit moved only with an a certain radius with the front and rear as the main axis, the wheelbot can freely move 360 degrees regardless of the space where it is located. With this feature, it is possible for the wheelbot to move in any direction, not only on the road, but also inside a building or anywhere without the road. This is an intelligent parking robot. It is the first commercial project of parking robot. The driver can park the car in the transfer zone outside the parking lot and robots will take over the car for parking and pick up. In the system, the robot goes underneath the vehicle and adapts to different wheel base and drive shaft length with adjustable mechanical arms to accomplish lifting and transportation. The robot management system coordinates multiple robots through unified scheduling and optimized path plan which effectively improves the operational efficiency and space utilization of parking lots. Autonomous driving technologies are applied to the parking robots to achieve accurate indoor positioning, obstacle avoidance, navigation, and other functionality. is a revolutionary amphibious aircraft gearing up to the world's most versatile plane. It was designed to operate on land, water, snow and ice. The aircraft is a two-seater in side-by-side -side configuration with a pusher propeller and folding wing, which are to be constructed with carbon fiber composite spars and covered with fabrics. The balance of the airframe was constructed from a combination of carbon fiber and fiberglass. Electric thruster helped the aircraft maneuver in the water. That's designed and loop the canopy to be raised on a four-bar system to sit above the engine cowling. This left the cockpit area over open for fishing from and can also allow mounting of a tent for camping with the floor panels inserted. Researchers at Columbia Engineering demonstrate a highly dexterous robot hand that combines an advanced sense of touch with mother learning algorithms in order to achieve a high level of dexterity. As a demonstration of a skill, the team chose a difficult manipulation task, executing an arbitrarily large rotation of an unevenly shaped grass object in hand while always maintaining the object in a stable, secure hold. This is a very difficult task because it requires constant repositioning of a subset of fingers 
fingers, while the other fingers have to keep the object stable. Not only was the hand able to perform this task, but it also did it without any visual feedback whatsoever, based solely on touch sensing. In addition to the new levels of dexterity, the hand worked without any external cameras, so it's immune to lighting, occlusion, or similar issues. This is a super new mirrory robotic limb system consisting of a variable base unit with six terminals and detachable robot arms controllable by the wearer. This system was designed to enable social interaction between multiple wearers, such as an exchange of arms and explore possible interactions between digital cardboards in a cyborg society. This system consists of a special robotic arm bag worn on a person's back. This backpack has one to six robotic arms attached to it. A robotic limb system speculates the social interactions between digital cyborgs. It enables the wearer to attach and detach robotic limbs and exchange them with others. This is new health system that optimized for therapy and rehabilitation. This system is a professional grade virtual reality training device that has been optimized for use in orthopedic and neurological therapy and rehabilitation. It offers effective core and balance training for patients with physical limitations. The device is compatible with various virtual reality systems and mobile devices such as smartphones or tablets and offers a range of training software applications and exercises games. It is upward compatible, modular system, and it has adjustable mobility in tilt and road access. With this flexible viewfinder screen, the ergonomically designed inclusive digital camera makes it easier to shoot from a more comfortable, rest-supported waist height, perfect for shooting motions or long durations for anybody from the elderly to beginners. The inclusive digital camera lens can rotate at 90 degrees from landscape to portrait mode to ease rest and finger movement, integrating four high-powered flashes to offer an exceptional 360-degree flash. The compact camera automatically rotates the screen interface to switch between landscape and portrait modes. Powered by a lithium-ion battery, the new digital camera makes use of induction charging to charge the battery. In this video, the procedure for securing the rolling stock with brake shoes will be described. Even though brake shoes reinvented centuries ago, they are still being actively used today to stop and secure train cars. They work this way. The rolling fraction of the car is replaced by the sliding fraction of the brake and shear on the rail and the second wheel of the pur on the other rail. It's simple and effective, but Russia has already started testing something new, stoppers that can replace brake shoes. The idea is this. A piston is mounted on the inside of the rails, producing about 5 cm when the wheel runs onto it. It drops and then rises and secures the wheel. The driver must be extremely precise when using this method. <laughs> 